Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping the 2024 NHL Stanley Cup playoffs matchup between the New York Rangers and the Washington Capitals. We'll hop right on to today, starting off with game-by-game -game breakdowns, starting with, of course, Game 1. And this one was a sort of a dominant effort by the New York Rangers, taking it 4-1. to one. And this one, you know, it was one of those games where the Rangers just seemed to have the Capitals number. Every mistake ended up in the back of Charlie Lindgren's net. So when we look at it in that sense, you know, it was a tough game for the Washington Capitals especially as a team coming in not really expected to do very much sort of that demoralizing blow right off the top always a tough to come back from that one so we look at it in that sense you know four to one sure it's a tough game and sort of we will see it throughout this series a big sort of factor for the Washington Capitals with their inability to score on the power play and in this game it cost them big time 0 for 4 you know if they put in two of those goals probably a very different game than what it was Four to one is your final. One key thing to note, sort of at the end of this game, was a sort of bit of a line brawl. With, of course, it has to be a guy like Tom Wilson being in the middle of it. So, sort of just to take note of as we move into game two here, and we'll sort of talk talk about a little bit more in this sense. This was the game where we sort of saw the carryover from that sort of fight at, towards the end of the game. This game, in my opinion, was probably the most physical we saw these two teams, especially in the series. Game three and four, very similarly in terms of the physicality, but really game two was sort of that real physical game that we were looking for both teams to play. And that's what Washington did, you know. At the end of the day, they played the game that they had to to keep the game close. And they really were. It was anybody's game, you know. Uh, Money Puck there deserved a win -o meter Had Washington favored, you know. A couple other factors went into it. At the end of the day, Wa uh, the Rangers did pull this one out 4-3. to three. But one of the key things in this one was the special teams. We talked about the problems in the previous one. Both teams didn't score six power plays between the two of them. Four for the Capitals, two for the Rangers. This game, too, was wasn't quite so uh, inability to score. It was more so, you know, the special teams came through when they needed to, and that was really the end result here. Four to three was your final in game two. Then into game three we go, and this was one where Shesterkin really stood on his head, helped the Rangers to win this one, definitely stole the game a little bit. You know, he faced 30-plus shots, and when you do that, especially as an underdog team like the Washington Capitals on home ice, Normally, you put a lot of pucks in the back of the net. Luckily for the Rangers, as we talked about in our preview, Shesterkin is an excellent goaltender, favored in the matchup. And sure enough, you know, he's, he came through when he needed to, and that's where we have it here. So Shesterkin, brick wall, that's what he needed to do, and that's what he did for the New York Rangers. As well, the power play woes strike yet again for the Washington Capitals. 0-4-6 in this one. Always a tough one when you have six power plays, can't convert. It has been sort of a storyline in this NHL playoffs. Just the inability for power plays to score. We've seen it in a couple other series, including, you know, the Leafs series and the Bruins is another one where we've seen it time after time. It was just the other game where, you know, the Leafs couldn't score five on five separate power plays. So it is always tough. You know, it's a demoralizing thing when you can't put the puck in the back of the net, especially on a power play when as an underdog team where, you know, any chance you get, you have to put it in the back of the net. Unfortunately for the Washington Capitals, couldn't find it for that reason, you know, Three to one is sort of the final, as well as the mistakes. Again, every time the Washington Capitals made a mistake, and just about every every game of this series, it seemed to go in the back of the net. That was a tough sort of run through for the Washington Capitals in this one. For the Rangers, obviously, they're a team that's very skilled, very going to have that ability to put the puck if you make a mistake. So when we look at it in that sense, not too surprising there, but at the end of the day, it's something to take note of as we move into the next series as well, whether or not the Rangers can continue that success. And finally, we'll take a look at the final game of this matchup, a 4-2 to two victory for the New York Rangers. One was an empty net right at the end with the power play goal. Sure, you know, it was a five-on-five -five power play. Did they pull the goalie too early? Maybe, you know, there's about 15 seconds left on that penalty. Would they have maybe had a different result? Maybe, you know, you're sort of running out of time, so there's that as well. So, you know, it's a tough sort of decision for the coach at the end of the day to be able to pull your goaltender, but at the end of the day, they did it. What Rangers put the puck in the back of the net, and that is your end result. 4-2 to two victory. This one, uh, sort of the key sort of factors in this one, was just hanging on for the Washington Capitals. They had moments where they were the better team, as they have throughout this entire series. But at the end of the day, when it had to be, the puck has to, had to be in the back of the net, 
they couldn't convert. And unfortunately for them, just couldn't really find the back of the net. And another one was sort of the bad penalties. When we look at it for the Washington Capitals, a lot of bad timing penalties. You know, after they score, they take a bad penalty, lose their momentum, especially on home ice. That can be a killer. So when we look at it for the Washington Capitals. That was a big factor in this one. Just unfortunately for them, could not find the back of the net. And lastly, the brooms come out for the New York Rangers. Obviously, with the sweep, the brooms are out as the Rangers move on to the second round. And we'll flip it over now to sort of the key factors. And we talked about this in our preview. If you haven't already, be sure to check it out. We've previewed all the matchups. We will preview all the second round matchups as well as recapping all the series. So be sure to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. As well, we will have as the series end, of course, over the next couple of days with a lot of the series sort of being in that final stage. Be sure to stay tuned. Lots of coverage coming. But we'll take a look now with the preview with the X Factors. We talked about some of the key players I was looking at coming off, coming into the series, whether or not they were going to take that next step and really help their team to victory. So the first one for me for the Washington Capitals was Tom Wilson. And of course, when we think about a guy like Tom Wilson, he's going to be physical. He's going to throw the body around. He's going to be chippy. He's going to get misconducts. He's going to have a lot of different aspects going to his game. He's going to, but at the end of the day, he had to be a player that was going to help the Washington Capitals through this series. In my opinion, he played a pretty solid series. A goal to assist, 16 penalty minutes with the misconduct, as well as a plus one in terms of his plus minus. So for him, you know, it was a decent series, as well I'll say, for Tom Wilson. He did what he, what he could do for the team. Unfortunately, just not enough sort of production for in the overall sense for the Washington Capitals. So for them, they could not find the back of the net quite enough to beat the New York Rangers. So well, the second one here was John Carlson, one goal, one assist, two penalty minutes and a minus one. He was another guy who was really looking to step up in this series. A little bit of a disappointing series is what I'd say for him, especially as the quarterback of the power play. You know, they lost a lot of their key defenders to injury. And when we look at it, you know, he's like, he was one of those players really had to take his game to the next level if they if the Capitals had any shot as an already underdog to knock off a team like the New York Rangers, as well as TJ Oshie, that he was extremely quiet in this series. I was sort of surprised not to see him. He had plenty of looks, just unfortunately for him, could not find the back of the net. Zero goals, one assist, four penalty minutes, and a minus two. As so now we look to the winning side with sort of the New York Rangers with Matt Rempe. He was a player I was really impressed with. When we look at him, you know, we think about what he's done for this team. He's a fight guy. He's a physical guy. He's a penalty guy. But yet he really didn't get roped into anything in this series, which to me was really, really surprising because, you know, as a rookie, you have a lot of a lot of people trying to fight you. A lot of players were trying to get under his skin, but Rempe did what he had to do. He didn't get to take any bad penalties, no instigators. He didn't even fight in this series. I was expecting him to go after Wilson at least once. No fights. For Rempe, he played a great series. One goal, six penalty minutes, and a plus one. Whenever you have that plus, it's always a good thing for your line, especially as the bottom, sort of that bottom six forward group. Never can complain about that. As well as Alexis Lafreniere, he was really good in this series. Four assists, two penalty minutes, plus one, no goals. But of course, he is more so with that playmaker style. So for Lafreniere, really solid sort of series for him. I was impressed. We'll see if he can continue that into round two. And the last one here is the captain, Jacob Trub. I was curious to see more so his leadership. But at the end of the day, he performed quite well. Two assists, two penalty minutes, and a plus four as a defender is always a solid look. So for, you know, the Rangers, their key players and those X-Factor players really stepped up in this one. For the Capitals, Tom Wilson was really good. The other two, you know, could have played a little bit better. OV was, was a disappointment, to say the least, in this one. But at the end of the day, for him, you know, he's still going after Gretzky's record next year. So we'll see if he continues that. And lastly here, we'll sort of take a look at, we made the prediction, Rangers in four, what happened? Rangers in four. We are one for one in terms of our predictions. Make sure to come back. You can see all of our all, all of our predictions in the preview videos. Link can be found in the description below. But lastly, here we'll take a look at how the sort of the matchup for the New York Rangers will look. They are going to be playing the team, the winner of the Carolina and New York. Really solid series. Will be a good one. We'll have a full preview coming up as soon as the matchup is decided. But with that, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to consider subscribing, tell all your friends you've come down below your thoughts on the New York Rangers versus Washington Capitals. Until next time, see you.